Welcome back to another PCT Short. I'm Jonah Johnson. So the question today is, will the wildfire smoke that we're experiencing quite heavily for a second go around here in Ohio inhibit our crop growth? And so the, the short answer is, is yes, it can. So one positive out of it though, if you think about the smoke, because normally the question would be is, is that actually filtering or not allowing full sunlight penetration into the canopy to help our plants? And so um, that can be to some regards, but it's actually diffusing that. So if you've ever looked at a light bulb, for example, it has a white coating inside of it. If you were to see that without that coating, it would be more direct light. It wouldn't diffuse or spread out. So that is what actually the smoke in the atmosphere is doing, it's diffusing. So as the sunlight moves across the horizon, plant leaves will follow that during the day. And so it may not always be receiving the full capacity of the sunlight's energy. So when it's diffused, it actually can engulf that plant in all directions during the day. Now on the flip side, what is the negatives of that? So what's in the atmosphere right now is called ozone. And so ozone, a three molecule oxygen, AKA smog, um, is actually a negative gas that can actually clog the pores on the bottom of the stomata of our plants and actually inhibit the process of photosynthesis. And so not much we can do about that, unfortunately. There has been uh, documented cases in vegetable crops where we can actually see ozone burning, browning and chlorosis in the plant in an irregular distribution, but nothing's been documented like that in agronomic crops. So. For more information on that, if you like videos like these, follow us on pctnutrients.com. I'm Jonah Johnson. Thanks for watching.